hello and welcome back I have taken the time and finished up kind of the middle of this and now we're gonna do the top and once I get to the top I start to make my 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 pieces a little bit smaller so I I tear my cotton ball in half it's really easy you just kind of take it just so and you pull it apart so we finish up probably this last row and then I'll show you how to do the top Take your pen and you pin your, your square. So again, we, we put our little cotton ball here, fold one leg over, the other leg over pull up anything that's snagging kind of push it down in and pin I really love these little Christmas trees. I've been making them since back in the early 90s. Um, I worked as a home health aide and I took care of an, an older woman and uh, she had pancreatic cancer. But she taught me how to make these trees. And so I think of her whenever I make a tree. If you can, if you want to comment below and tell me if there are any crafts that you or your family does yearly that, you know, it's your go-to to take to a, a, a get together or or anything like that um, I've got a couple of more things I'm I'm planning to share with you um, one I did a, a three-tiered shelf or basically it's a dish um, I'm going to use it for some cookies later this week and uh, show you how that turned out. I do not strive for perfection. I'd love to have everything just perfect, but unfortunately there is nothing in my life that is perfect. So is it good enough? It probably is. All right, now we're ready for our top, our top one. And the very top you wrap a little differently because you don't want this rough edge here to show. So you take your half of cotton, half a cotton ball, and you stick it in the middle of your square, and then you wrap it up like a little package. so that you have a, a little square like this. And you've, you've folded it. Now these you can usually fasten with just one pin. And you have to go through both levels, or both layers back there, and then place it into the, the foam tree. Now 
I did some looking. I went to Michael's and uh, they have lots of Christmas trees. They have all kinds of shapes and sizes of Christmas trees, but they're all awfully expensive compared to what you can find at Dollar Tree. Um, at Dollar Tree, they're only a dollar, so your Christmas tree is much more budget friendly if you use the Dollar Tree. But um, I have not been to Walmart in a long time, but I know before Dollar Tree, I would go to um, Walmart and I always found it was usually a package of two and they were a little bit smaller than this but you got a package of two of them and you uh, it seems like they were like 244 or something like that so they they weren't th that expensive oh um, there might have been a dollar 89 I don't know you know Walmart um, it was something 99 or 95 or 98 whoops almost dropped my cotton ball so again we're in the middle fold and fold and then fold and fold grab the top top layers put your pin through it and stick it into the top of your Christmas tree So as you can see, we're, we're starting to come to our end. Now, there's just a couple of little things you, I like to do to finish them off. And one of them is put a doily on the bottom so you don't have the styrofoam showing. And then the other is to make a little ribbon bow type thing for on the top of the tree to uh, to make it just you know it's the star the yellow star is the bow it's very strange for me to be sitting here talking to myself like I'm talking to several people or whatever it might take me a while to get used to this but I do love to share my crafts and uh, if this is a way I can do it then I'm going to do it um, my husband supports us he works for Clemson University and he is in computer technology so, and I have always been able to stay home with the kids. Now, we didn't have a glamorous life, but we did all right. But I have a lot of bills I could pay if, if I had more money. You know, medical bills, they just kind of sit there and they wait for you. So, now this pin with the yellow head on it I had stuck here in the middle um, I like to start with a little yellow headed pin and you can find a lot of these I've got a whole box of them with my sewing stuff because um, I don't know what it is about the yellow heads but they they make a, a whole bucket load of them now I I haven't even opened this yellow. We'll take the plastic off of it. And it's not sticky, thank goodness. And what I do is first I I pick a, a decent looking tail length. 
and I stick it through. And then I stretch the ribbon out. I pull that up to the top, I stretch the ribbon out, and I put it on. And then I do that again. Making it as even or as uneven as you want to do it. We're going to do this several times. As you see, we're making little bows. And I usually make quite a few. At least I'm not having to sew. So, do that. Then I grab my sewing scissors, my singers ones, and I cut my ribbon. And we stick it in there on the top. Kind of fluff it up if you want. And then here's my doily. I usually put it on the bottom and I'll put like two or three round headed pins in here kind of like feet and there we go oh it doesn't sit quite straight my placement might be just my, my mat but anyway there's my little Christmas tree it's very cute you can see it's about the about the size of my hand a little bigger And it's perfect. So, thank you for joining me. Um, if you liked my video or if you like what you see or whatever, if you would like um, the video, that would be greatly appreciated. If you subscribe to my channel, that's awesome. Um, if you want to be notified that I've put up a new video, then you want to hit the little bell next to the subscribe when it pops up. And you will be a subscriber of Sandy's Left-Handed Crafts. I also have paper directions to all of my, my crafts on my blog at Sandy's Left-Handed Life. So, that's about it. Hope you're having a great day. And happy holidays and Merry Christmas.